Good morning. Good it's morning. a long Friday it already. Uh -huh. it again and again and again. We and keep again on again. saying that. Yeah, it, it just <laughs> shows up quickly. It's so wonderful. And now Facebook is telling us we're now live. Oh, well, I've thanks. never seen that before. No, that was first. Time you for are that. now live. Yeah. It's like, thank you. <laughs> okay. Are we? Are you sure about that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this funny thing about Facebook, I was talking to Petra's uh, friend, my uncle, who's who's very well versed in uh, computers and uh, that's what he does for a living is coding and anyway he said uh, this morning something about how um, it could be possible he said that we log into Facebook through our streaming software oh. and then I never have to change anything again I'm going oh no don't yeah. change things <laughs> on me because Facebook does that enough <laughs> don't tell me about something new no. I don't want to learn anything new. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Maybe not even tomorrow. Not yet. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Hello, so. Pat Henke and Louise Fuzza. Yeah. They are Hello. here already. That's wonderful. I think a lot of people might be home today because it's Remembrance Day for us. Yes. But it's vet Veterans Day down in the um, the States. And I so. wonder where in, in other parts of the world because there's so, mm -hmm. so English yeah. speaking people true. in England. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> in the UK. And then there's also Australia and New Zealand. So yeah. Do you have a similar kind of day plan? Exactly. Because yeah. I don't think it is all over the world, but no. maybe it's just in North America yeah, where could. we honor the fallen heroes of past wars. Exactly. And I, I'm sure they do that in other countries too. It just not might not be today. Same day. Yeah. Exactly. So if you're from another country and you're not in North America, let us know mm -hmm. when, when and if you do a Veterans Day or a Memorial Day or a yeah. Remembrance, Remembrance Day, day. which day. is what we have. Yeah. We should be wearing poppies, but I have to tell you, I haven't been out enough to go and get one. <laughs> I have to say that as well. And I was thinking, oh my God, I, I don't, ha I haven't gotten a poppy. So I'll have to yeah. go and do that yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> At some point, we have to make a special a trip. This special weekend. trip. Even yes. if it's a bit late. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think I have to stop on my way home at the grocery store. Oh, they'll so have some. They'll have some there. Then you can yeah. contribute to mm -hmm. veterans' mm -hmm. um, organizations. Yeah. Um, Pat and Louise are here. Joanne Fouzon is here. I'm saying it with a French accent. Yeah. <laughs> Fouzon. Yeah. <laughs> Margaret Andrew. Yeah. I'm back. That is so good to see. I'm glad you're here. It's a great morning to come because I think it's going to be, like you said, a bit yeah. busy this yeah, morning. Yeah, it could be a bit busy this morning. Hello, Sue. Sue. Hello. <laughs> we keep yeah. talking like this yeah. and I can't, still can't see yeah. you. <laughs> good for you for fixing your Zoom. Um, let's see, Marty, Marty, good morning from Lake Placid, New York. It is 64. 60. That's a nice temperature. Yeah, yeah. for us, that's yeah. like balmy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not, it's no fun to have heavy, yeah, rain, heavy if rain if you've got a lot of uh, errands to run. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, let's see who else is here. It keeps on flipping Marty, on you. Yes. Dorothy, hello. 70 degrees, wow. To 30, oh, to 30 today. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. <laughs> that's quite a jump. I, actually, I've heard the same thing from some people mm -hmm. about the flu shot this time. You know, I hardly felt it at all, which is really unlikely. Yeah. Um, I did have a little sore arm, which you expect from any shot. And and, and really, I, I just didn't even notice that I had two shots mm -hmm. because I really did. I had the flu mm -hmm. and I had the you, COVID. You did, yeah. Um, but I heard from someone else that it was the flu shot that really uh, did it to them. Did it to them? Did I, you have yours yet? I have not had my oh. flu shot. <laughs> I have had the um, the booster, okay, good. but when I got my booster, the flu shot wasn't available yet. Right, so you should go get your uh, I, flu. I, I should. And You're putting it off, I, aren't you? I, yeah, ex <laughs> I keep on getting the reminder going, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like, I never get the flu, knock on wood. You know? Apparently this one is different than the others. Yeah, I, I, yes. And I think it's because it's been allowed to... Um, research because it was not able to be anywhere. I'm mm. not sure, but mm. I think that the flu is is going to be different this year. However, you never know. You if never you, know. If you never get no. the flu shot, then it's, maybe you're okay. It, exactly. It's kind of a crapshoot, isn't it? It kind of <laughs> is. Yeah. And uh, so if and when you do get it, then you'll just get sick. That's it. Oh, that's right. You're not exactly. going to die or anything. No, not yet. Anyway, at least not yeah. exactly. Not yet. <laughs> Margaret Andrew, it's so good to have you here. And I know I said it already once, but I'm really glad. Um, and Dorothy, I hope you get better soon. Mm -hmm. I know that it, this will too will pass. Yes. And you will be protected, which is a good feeling. Um, okay, so you have a Veterans Day there. And Patricia Readout says, sunny Nova Scotia. Oh, that sounds Very nice. Very nice. Diana's yep. Murdistov from yep. a cold day in Minnesota. Yeah. 
I don't know. At 29 that, today, wow. Diane, uh, Minnesota seems always so extreme. <laughs> it's either really hot or really cold. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. you know we we live in more temperate climate, mm -hmm. and when I hear some of the temperatures you talk about, like those two, you know that that's quite the spread. That's quite the the change. Yeah. Although we had a sudden change this year too, but not we not by did. one day to the next. No, but. Jennifer Gowan is here. Hello, first time on the site. I moved. No kitchen yet, just a wash tub oh. and a fridge. Oh, Jennifer, I know those days. <laughs> I'm going to be going through some of that myself if and when I move out of my house. So far, nobody wants it yet. So, so no, okay. no offers yet. No offers yet. But I know moving is really, um, it's stressful. Yeah. So try not to do too much other than moving in. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that you're in um, and that you uh, now have at least a wash tub. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> and right. And a fridge. Absolutely. <laughs> and if you have yeah. a table, then, you know, that's good. That's, and a that's bed. Good. A yeah. bed. I and hope you have one of those. And a stitching area. Well, yes. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling that might be last or no, not so urgent if all she's got is a wash. Tub. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Very true. I, I think that, that would be first on my list. Get my sewing room done and then I don't care about anything <laughs> else. I can, I can go out and go to the pool to have a bath. <laughs> I can eat out in restaurants. That's true. That's true. But it's the bed. See, now she didn't that's say anything true. about the bed. That's true. I don't know. I like my sleep. Yes. Before the, I the bed and the sewing place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wishing you all the best, yeah. Jennifer. Uh, Nora says, "Good morning. Good morning, Nora White." Uh, Lynn Burton from England. Do you have a Veterans Day or a Remembrance Day there during the year anytime or is or that is, now? Or is it today? Yeah, it could be because mm -hmm. it is here in Canada and yep. it also is uh, Veterans Day in the States. So Nancy Pruting, hello. Um, hello from Drizzly, Syracuse. Yep, New York. Judy and Margaret Andrew, warm with me. Oh, warm with me. Let's see, yep. got another... Oh, same with me. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. Same with me. Got another booster. My flu shot. Never felt a thing. Not even a sore arm or anything. Yep. Margaret. Very nice. You and I are like sisters. Yep. <laughs> Denise Hayes. Good morning from New Zealand. Usually watch a day later due to how early it is here. I'm so glad yep. you are live. <laughs> Absolutely. Live with mm -hmm. us. And if we could, we would have every one of you uh, on live. Honestly, mm -hmm. we would have you saying something to us instead of being able to chat is wonderful, but yeah. in some time in the future, I just can guess that. Yes, to, be nice? to hear people's voices. Yes, yeah. and to see your faces. Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, we have a mental picture, and often I look at the um, yes. the profile yeah, picture very often. Yeah. I will hover over it, yeah. and I'll see Nancy Prudding has got Prudding has got her profile picture up, and mm -hmm. I know what she looks like. Mm -hmm. Now Judy Holmes, on the other hand, let's see. It's a straw it's chocolate, a chocolate covered, covered strawberry. strawberry. Yum. Ooh, you looks good. And Margaret looks like her little doggy. Yeah, mine does too. And yours yeah. looks like yeah. your little doggy. And Denise, I don't know. She looks like a wall with a door in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which you know, yeah. it's kind of hard to tell yeah. your face. Could be her front yard. It's possible. Could be the entrance into the yard. It's possible. Yeah. It's also very cute. I didn't mean to make yeah. you feel bad. <laughs> Sue, I hear some people get lost in Minnesota. <laughs> Good, one, Good one, Sue. Good one, Sue. I've told I've told Lisa about our getting lost there. One time, I went to do some stitch uh, teaching, and uh, I was supposed to meet. Uh, Sue for the first time and or maybe even the second time I've forgotten but anyway we totally got lost oh um, and uh, so she's referring to that yeah. time <laughs> Marty let's oh. see what Marty has to say now that I get home oh, for goodness sake okay up there there it is yeah. I'm spending my day getting caught up on the stitch along yay yeah it's a redecorating going on in my apartment packing unpacking 90% of my stuff jury duty severe sort what oh. COVID scare. We're going to dying, have to get a new one. Have been, oh, no. Yeah. So glad to be sitting again. <laughs> <laughs> what a long story. <laughs> I have not been able to pick up a needle since October 14th. Wow. You must be in dire mm -hmm. straits. I'm so sorry that you've had to go through all that. But then that is life, isn't it? It's just the way it goes. Sometimes it's really easy and predictable yep. and comfortable. And then all of a sudden, oh, my God. Things change. <laughs> The proverbial S hits the fan. Alan Meldrum, hello from wet and windy Sterling. Oh gosh, at least it's not cold. 17 uh, Celsius sounds like a nice temperature. Yeah, it sounds wet and windy mm -hmm. though. <laughs> My grab bag arrived today, yay! 
That's great. Yeah. Those of you who have been getting um, uh, their grab bags, I certainly hope you enjoy them. The, the next ones that are going to be out, I think you're going to make um, uh, some more. But I am. Not as many as we had last time. No, not as many. Um, but they will be bigger. They will be bigger yeah. because we have uh, enough left to make some big ones uh, yeah. rather than, you know, continuing to go through making, well, the ones we made yeah. before were already big. Big, but exactly. They, but these ones are a little bigger yeah. yet. So yeah. to make sure that we get rid of as much po stuff yeah. as possible. And so you guys benefit as much as possible. And I believe we will be charging a little higher price and the shipping will have to yeah. be higher because... Yeah. As it was, what did we pay? We paid we like, almost paid double for shipping than what they paid, what everybody else paid. Yeah. So we basically didn't make any money <laughs> at all. Which is fine. At yeah. least somebody's got a good grab bag, and we're very happy with that. But um, this time, we we really definitely have to make just a little bit on all of this um, inventory. So we are going to be doing that, and hopefully, yeah. many people will still enjoy them. I have a feeling there that people will really like. Like even the people who've gotten grab bags already will will like these ones. Will like well. these ones even better. Yeah, um, and that's going to be what in another week. Yeah, yeah, we should yeah. be able to start selling them next yeah. week. Yeah, um, I want to do that before I leave, rather than when I'm in Mazatlan. I guess so. Yes, I think so. It would be kind of fun. It would to be. See. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dorothy says you could do Zoom so everyone can participate in mm -hmm. both directions. Yeah, we yeah. could. But it's not the same as Stitch Along Friday. Yeah. And that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Zoom still does do very good participation. Yes. Um, with 40 people, it can get a little bit, mm, not bad, but mm -hmm. uh, it can get a little bit, um, I don't know, confusing. But we only have about 20 yeah. people here today. I thought there would be more, but Absolutely. maybe you're attending the ceremonies. Yes, it depends what time. That's right. We're... Um, because it's now 11-ish yeah. or something. No, it's more. It's like noon there. That's right. It's 20 Back to east. 10 for us. So mm -hmm. so it's going to definitely be um, ceremony day for many people. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Down a little bit. Yep, down a little yeah. bit. There we go. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I have to go and yeah. look at it, the... It keeps on jumping. <laughs> All the comments keep jumping. Um, let's see. Hello, Dee Morrison. Dee. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Yes, it's Remembrance Day in England, too. Yeah. We have one minute silence at 11 a.m., but yeah. we remember them on Remembrance Sunday with yeah. services. Okay, thank you. I'm here on my Samsung phone uh, on the normal FB, not light. Oh, so yeah. it's working again. Oh. I thought I'd okay. try a message, and you saw it. So it's it's uh, ironed out the glitch. Yeah. Hooray is right. Because yeah. <laughs> that was very weird. It, it, is it was, and I mean, Facebook, didn't they just lay off a whole bunch of people, too? Thousands, so. <laughs> thousands. Well, they're not doing too well at the moment, no, I don't think. No, And uh, so they're going to have to deal with whatever mm -hmm. they deal with, and hopefully that, that'll keep them off Facebook for a yeah, while. So that's they, right. they don't change yeah, things. Yeah, they don't change anything. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer says, I do have a bed. Oh, no. good. <laughs> The people need me, me out before oh. I got finished remodeling the new house. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I guess they wanted to do some remodeling, too. Contractor took out kitchen cabinets. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Still waiting on the cabinets to be made. Hopefully, Ooh. Santa will deliver them. Yeah. <laughs> Santa's good that way. He, he does good. Uh -huh. Good job. Uh, Margaret loved her grab bag and definitely would want another one. Please, can I sign up now? <laughs> Sorry. No, no. But we will. I think we should give people, like, a really good warning true and so yeah. what we'll probably do is send out an email after Prior. after that's right after the um stitch along friday mm -hmm. and then yep. we'll say um, what pacific time we're actually going to release the yeah. grab bags yeah and then you'll know to sit on your computer and just go grab them yeah because that's what they're yeah. called grab bags yeah okay <laughs> Uh, read the grab bags. When you issue some more, could you consider allowing those who did not get one before first grab? So as many of us, I don't know how to do that. Man. Yeah, sorry. I have yeah. no idea mm -hmm. how to make our website do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I yeah. would consider it, but, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty it's, tough. It's really hard to do that. But we do want to give you um, as much of a chance as possible. So we're going to have to make sure that it's not too late for people in England mm -hmm. and not too early mm -hmm. for people in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the yeah. other issues Absolutely. that we have. Mm -hmm. But we have also noticed that uh, sending grab bags to Australia is pretty expensive. Yes, very so expensive. So we'll probably aim to trying to make sure that, I think you're nine hours after us, um, Lynn. 
So, or eight hours, eight hours yeah, after eight us. Eight hours, something like that. So that would mm -hmm. mean that if we start, actually, we could probably send out an email before Stitch Along Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Send out the email then, and then immediately after Stitch Along Friday, we'll um, make that time like maybe 11 o'clock uh, Pacific time. Yeah, or 1030. Yeah. yeah, and then do it right then, mm -hmm. and we'll make it live mm -hmm. then. That, that could work. That could work, yeah. Okay, good. So that's all I can do, Lynn. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Dorothy, oh, larger grab bags coming. Yay, exactly. <laughs> We're looking forward to them, too. Lisa's making them completely herself. I am, yes. She's and I've been having it. fun going through <laughs> all the different beads. Now I started um, doing charms. Charms? So, oh, is that today? That's Charm, uh, charm day? Well, oh, no, no, it's your day off, it's, isn't it? It's my day off today. Yes. So, um, But I did do a little bit. Yes. Um, I was actually finishing off the bags that will have sequins in them. Yes. Petite beads and sequins. So those are done, and then I started on the charms. So, oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. I, I saw some of the bead packs, and they are gorgeous, and there's pearls in Oh, oh, oh they're oh, too oh, many. Oh, oh, yeah. Too many, too many things <laughs> in there. Um, big surprise, says Margaret. For me, the other day, I went to a local thrift store, picked up a magazine to look at later. It looked brand new, and I was in a hurry, so I never looked at it till home. It's much to my surprise, the very first edition of Needle Pulling Thread from oh, Canada. Okay. Um, back in the old days, and it had one of your little ornaments called a Canadian Christmas. Oh, a yeah. Santa with, with a goose, goose and yeah. a little Canadian flag sticking out of a bag of toys. Yeah, I remember that uh, me one. Me too. Thank you for mm -hmm. a lovely memory. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet of you. Thank you for mentioning it. That was um, a magazine that had just started. I don't know how long it went, actually. Yeah, I don't know either, but that would be probably almost 30 years ago now, I would think. Oh, gosh, gosh, no, we haven't even been doing um, Victoria Sampler in 30 years. Yeah, but I think you did it before Victoria Sampler started. Lisa knows stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's yeah. after we started, but no. hey, you know, whatever. Well, it could, so it's at least 25 years. So, yeah, so that's yeah. great. That's mm -hmm. a nice antique magazine. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have to so, see if I can find that pattern, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a cute, it's cute. Yeah. It's more cross stitchy, mm -hmm. and of course, I hadn't had much practice then yet, but it is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. um, I did want to know, and, well, we know what you've been doing. Absolutely. Creating I, I have been busy this week. Correct. And what is it that I've been doing, Lisa? Tell me. What have you <laughs> been doing? Know. Uh, I think see. you've been selling a lot of things on um, oh, yes. Marketplace. That's right. Getting, I've been using get downsizing, Marketplace. Getting yeah. rid of your things in your closets. Yeah. Um, was the clothes this week? Did you, no, that was last week. That was last week, yeah. So it gave, so, gave away a lot of clothes, yeah, which is great. Yeah. But the downsizing is really fun. As long as you mm -hmm. get into the habit of making sure that you don't throw away everything because you can I like for me it's like extreme I either keep it all because you never know yeah you might need yeah, it might need it or <laughs> uh, you don't you um, you know you don't keep it all you you um, throw away everything yeah and it's kind of like okay I can't be bothered to decide yeah so you have to kind of I don't know you have to have your wits about you yes and I yes. noticed at the end of a day sometimes I want to drink too yeah <laughs> <laughs> give, give me some wine I can I can you know deal with the emotional with stuff it. better when I have a good drink. Uh, uh, Margaret says the magazine was a festive 2005. Oh, 2005, okay. So, yeah, uh, this time. Yep. Only this time mm -hmm. my memory mm -hmm. was a little stronger yeah. than yours. Yes. Of course, I was yeah. dealing with them. You, you were. That's right, exactly. But I just thought that pattern, um, you designed that before. Oh, I did. Quite yeah. a bit before. Yeah. But it's the one that I, oh, okay. I offered yeah. to them because yeah. they wanted something so yeah. bad. And I didn't have anything. So I thought, oh, well, maybe yeah. this older pattern Absolutely. would be cute. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing yeah. and also um, had another small operation and that's going well, healing very quickly. Mm -hmm. So I think yep. that's the last of the operations for a while. For a while. Oh, Fingers I crossed. Hope so. And I'm able to walk and hobble quite well now. <laughs> oh yes, and I went to PT. That's right. You started physiotherapy. That's true. Such yeah. a good deal. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I went because the lady said, because I've been getting, getting to the point where I'm thinking, am I ever going to be able to walk yeah. again? Yeah. You know, comfortably, and because it's still a little sore. And anyway, so she said, no, no, you've got to do this, 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 and this. So I've got exercises, and I've got hope. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth going just for the hope. She said, in three weeks, you should be much, much, much better. So that was good to hear. You'll be able to run marathons again. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe not this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kathleen yawns. Yeah. There you are. You had appointments. That's what I've been yeah. doing too. I had appointments, appointments. all week. True. It's just like every day, mm -hmm. appointment after appointment. So you must have had some during Fridays. 
um, Sip Shalom. Mm -hmm. I hope that they all went well and that you are um, healthy and that everyone else is healthy. And look, at we now have oh, almost 30 viewers, yep. which is so cool because this is our preamble to allow people yeah. to come on board. Because sometimes it takes people, you know, 10, 15 Absolutely. minutes. And yep. uh, it's kind of nice because you can see it on your phone, but you're doing other yeah. stuff. You can't just interrupt yourself so Absolutely. quickly. So at this point, since there's so quite a few people here, we could do a, a little angel card. We could. Do you want to you wanna, oh, you wanna pick it up? Sure. We're, we're getting low on I'm angel ready. cards. Yeah, I know, okay. because I keep putting them away in the drawer, which is a good which is thing. Good. Okay, ready? Allow your life to be filled with wonder. That's a yeah, good one. that's a good one. Yes, and I think it's a very appropriate thing to say because we, we might know that there's wonder, but we have to actually allow them into our lives. The wonder of life is very yeah. important. And we forget sometimes in the, our busy days we do. how amazing our life really is. And even during very tough times, the fact that we have a life that is filled with wonder is something to be considered yep. and grateful for. Yes. So we want to go straight to our new PDF product. Why not? All right. Yep. <laughs> we hope that this has been um, uploaded correctly. But at the end of today, we are going to release, at the end of today's session, yep. Yep. We're going to release um, the last design that I Ab made, absolutely, which is was only a kit yep. uh, when we made it uh, because it was very important that we uh, included it with all the materials because we didn't have that much absolutely. anymore. But now we just ha are going to release it as a PDF on our website, and it is called Village Pincushion. Yeah. So this beautiful design is can be made into a pincushion, or it could be made into a um, horizontal uh, frame piece, which is the reason that I put the um, pa uh, the picture on the top, so you can see what it looks like if it were framed. Exactly. Here's the real deal. Here's the real. Deal. I'm gonna start from this side. There. We'll go from there, so you can see the seam here where it's joined together. Yes, that's right. And then we're gonna go around. <laughs> I love, the way, I love the way you're round. studiously making yep. it go round. <laughs> I'm trying not to block any of the stitches, so it's not so easy. I think you're doing really well. Oh, I'm going to lose it here. <laughs> it's lovely. There we go. And there's the back again. I tried really yep. hard to make the two join at the back so yeah. that the pin cushion would be kind of all the way around, but there's still the joint, but it's very, very invisibly sewn. I, I, I tried to make it so it matched up too. It's not necessarily matching up, you know, completely. Oh, I think it's doing it's just fine. You're pointing good. out yeah. your, in, in, you know, what you my, consider my imperfections. Your imperfection, but that's <laughs> not necessary because it's pretty perfect to us. So that one is going to, um, yes, come out yep. uh, just like you're going to be, make it um, visible for people uh, as soon as we hang up. Here. Yeah, like I can make it visible. I haven't yet. But no, but you uh, will, right? Yeah, I, before I leave, yes. No. Oh, yes, because you're yeah. leaving today yeah. too, right exactly. after the thing. So before yeah. you leave, unless yeah. you want me to do it, I'm happy to do it. You can leave before you do that. Well, yes, exactly. I thought, um, have you checked it through to make sure everything... I have. Oh, awesome. We can make it active it's as soon. It's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> and if there's anything wrong with any pattern, don't forget, you can just email us at our mm -hmm. info at victoriasamford.com. Absolutely. Email. And I'll get back to you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> And also, th those of you who are um, in contact with us by phone, we are going to um, stop the phone uh, yeah. very soon. So people can get in touch with us via email or on Facebook uh, yeah. through our Victoria Sampler uh, chat group. So keep in mind that not very many people are phoning anymore. And, and of course, we have the phone particularly for our shops yeah. because they would phone in and order from Absolutely. us, etc. But the kinds of phone calls we're getting now are more in tune with, they can be answered by email. Mm -hmm. And it means mm -hmm. that we have one less thing to worry about if yeah. we, if I move, eventually, so eventually we'll be moving out of this house. And um, that means that people can get used to um, emailing us because yeah. I don't know of anyone who doesn't have some email possibility. It, it, exactly. Now, Facebook Messenger won't work. For, no, yeah. no, don't for, try Messenger. Yeah. Uh, it's too confusing to get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, it'll work. I mean, we'll get it. But uh, it, honestly, we're not going to answer via Messenger. Yeah. 
not only can I not thumb exactly to type, yeah, and I, we yeah. can't keep track of it. Nothing. So email yeah. is the only one, and so we'll remove the phone number from our website, and it will state our email. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yes, our email address as info at victoriasandra.com. So Absolutely. hopefully that will work for everyone. Oh, it looks like Tammy's here. She just yeah. got home from shopping. Oh. I'm glad, Dorothy, that you get it. And Deborah, oh, thank you. I'm so glad yeah. you like the idea, too. That's so yeah. nice. Thank I, you. I really enjoyed um, finishing the drum pin cushion. It, it was such um, so much fun to finish. Did we ever do a video on that? don't think so. Well, I, you know, we're going to so. do it with the next drum pin yeah, cushion. Exactly. So that people yeah. can see. Because the yeah. way you finished it, honestly, the way she's finished it, is remarkable. The bottom has um, not the same linen. It is a circle yeah. uh, covered with a lovely dark green, so to match the dark green at the of the design. And that way, and you can even put some little beads or glue some little mm -hmm. beads on there to make two, four yeah. little feet if you want to. So that's really nice. And then the other thing is that she has created this top, which has filling in it. And inside it's hollow, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. And so the well, outside... It is stuffed with... Um, Fiber fill. Fiber fill. Yes. Yeah. But what I mean is the inside of the entire um, pin cushion is hollow and then stuffed with fiber yeah, fill. Exactly. Sorry. And I think some skirtex went in there too to make it stiff. That's what I was going to yeah. say. So this is not two ply mat board. This no. is skirtex. Skirtex. Which you can yeah. buy. It's actually an upholstery kind yes, of it stiffener. Is. Yeah. Um, but it's really useful for making soft but still um, stable yeah. uh, sides. And it also it gives a very nice finish instead it, it of having it kind of wobbly. Smooth, whereas yes. if you had just put poly um, fiber fill in there, you would see the lumps. Yeah, so that mm -hmm. gives you some hints as to how to finish mm -hmm. one of these so that it looks this, we'll call it even, you know, so that it's not lumpy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, oh, and the, at the top there's a little design that is so cute. We didn't want to put too much on the top because you're actually going to be using this one as an yeah. actual pin cushion. Absolutely. Ah, oh, let's see who else is here. Thank you, Marty, that you like it. That's so good. And um, let's see who else is there. Linda Morrison is here. Hello. Exactly. And Dorothy oh. says, are the finishing instructions with the pin cut? Yes, they are. Yes. Um, mostly words. Mostly words. Not too many pictures, no. but there are finishing instructions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And they're Lisa's finishing instructions, Absolutely. so, you know, they are, pretty good. They are my finishing instructions, <laughs> and they are my photos, but I couldn't figure out how to use my phone properly. So some of the photos I took were actually photos. They were videos. And <laughs> oh, I, we can use those. Well, with the iPhone, I don't, I, yeah, I'll have to figure that out, so. I think you've only had that iPhone, like, she's upgraded, but yeah. that iPhone for what, like, tw Two it's months, not, four months? Not, yeah, it's not, yeah, when I did that, it was only a, a month or so. Yeah, exactly. After I got the phone. Funny, so, funny. Yeah. Linda says, um, tornado in Roanoke, Virginia, Ooh. USA, due to tropical storm. Warning now over. Thank goodness, okay. Linda. I'm glad to hear that. And thank you, Sue. Glad you like it. Yep. And as you said before, this might be just ideal. Fiona Edwards, good evening from Haddington. Wow. Yep. Okay. What is that little flag there? I think it's the English flag. I think it might be. Yeah. Um, no, that might be Scotland because okay. it's yes, blue with the Andrews Absolutely. Cross. Absolutely. I'm trying yeah. to remember my history yeah. as yeah. a good Canadian. <laughs> uh, Lynn, good afternoon to you too. And of course, it's still morning here, but I'm glad that you're here. Ah, okay. So I was going to say something and I totally forgot. It's so it'll so come back. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have our model parade here. We are. And the reason I call it model parade because somebody said, you know, during your model parade, I thought that was such a good name. <laughs> so, da -da -da, model parade. Exactly. You want to do the sample part and I can do the ornament? Yeah, that'd be great. Because you're so much better at hand. I've actually got my right hand here. Exactly. And we're both right-handed. Yeah. So, it's a little easier for me to start. So, this is 12 Days, it's called. And I guess you know what that's about. It's, you know... Um, partridge in a pear tree and all that. And I started um, um, 12 Days by not knowing what I was doing, really. And I wanted it to be long, like a real bell pull. <clears throat> so I just kept adding little stitches to it and then a little uh, cross-stitch version of that part of the song, of the carol. So as you can see, the little partridge is the header. And then uh, some lots of little specialty stitches here and uh, two turtle doves. And instead of 
actually doing cross stitches of two turtle doves. I just wrote in the actual um, words, which makes a lot of sense. And then three French hens, and look at all the specialty stitches on this side. I mean, each one of these is something to learn. So mm -hmm. I did I actually teach this? You did. I can't yes. believe that I taught yeah. all these specialty yeah. stitches. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was uh, one of our retreats, so. Four collie birds. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I remember that mm -hmm. now. And by the way, they're never calling birds. They're collie birds, and that's a British or UK uh, version of the kinds of blackbirds that they are. And then there's five gold rings, which everyone knows is five gold rings <laughs> <laughs> with specialty stitches. And then six geese a laying. Now I've kind of changed the thing there. Can you see it well enough? Six geese a laying, more specialty stitches dividing this one and this one up here as well. Um, seven swans a swimming. And again, there's only one swan, but you know, it looks uh, good because you've got the words there. Eight maids a milking with lots of specialty stitches here and here. And even underneath here is little grassy things. And then nine drummers drumming. Can you see them? Mm -hmm. Nine drumming drummers mm -hmm. drumming. Mm -hmm. And then there are uh, ten pipers piping. And these are actually old-fashioned kind of, um, what do you call those? Um, prim not primitive, but pioneers in, yeah. of the olden days in the United States anyway. And then 11 ladies dancing with lots of specialty stitches. And finally, 12 lords a-leaping. And my right arm is really yeah. <laughs> stretched as far as it can go. But I'm going to show you the final thing, which is Christmas. Yes. 2006 is when I did this one. Wow, has it been that long? Yep. So Christmas 2006 was quite a while ago, but yeah. the um, the cool thing is that you can either leave off the date yourselves, mm -hmm. or when you've stitched it, it's nice to have the date in yeah. it so that you can say, oh, Absolutely. wow, wasn't that a long time yeah. ago? That was a while ago. So I have this hanging between two doors, and yeah. in between is a section of wall that fits, this fits in perfectly, and I've got a cute little um, heart-shaped um, pewter, pewter. Uh, bell yes. pull, and then there are... Um, all of these and as you can see it's actually quite long it's even quite compared long. to us yeah i think it was it's probably about a yard long yeah i would say it's a yard, yard long yeah like i think so yeah <laughs> it's mm -hmm. hard to tell anyway so that's 12 days bell pull exactly and with the 12 days there's also ornaments so you got a partridge and a pear tree mm -hmm. Well, I've shown all of them, so yeah, exactly. I don't know if we need to see all of the ornaments, but well, each one of them is adorable. Each one is different, and they all have different shapes. And so there's the three French hens and the collie birds, and they also have slightly different um, shapes. Exactly, and five and six. And seven. Oh, and it's even got the number on there, so you can see. Se oh, did I do that wrong? Yes, <laughs> seven and eight. These are both kind of squares or rectangles. Yeah, and then we've got 9 and 10, rectangle again, and the oval. Yep, and there we have, oh, I don't know how you did this one. That was an interesting way. <laughs> but she just wanted to do something different. different. So those are all of the ornaments, and they do look adorable on a small tree. Which, by the way, I was going to take it upstairs and put on one of my mm. small trees. I think that's a good idea, so we'll leave them out. And Thank then you. And you can take your ornaments upstairs. Yeah, because that's, that's one of the um, pieces that I've got, that 12 days I've got up year-round. I just love it, and I enjoy um, having it there. I got it, Scotland! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fiona. <laughs> Dorothy Wendell says, I stitched 12 days for my oldest granddaughter. She's now 23. Two years ago, she loves it. Good morning. Forgot the time change, but brilliant. It's 7 a.m. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. You're not awake in the middle of the night, and we can still get to talk to you. Thank you, Karen, for mentioning that. Uh, okay, that's great. That's actually part of our model parade. Yeah. And we have four more. Four more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I am. Okay, this is a model that absolutely um, blew me away with the amount of people that wanted it. Yes, Unbelievable. it's been a very popular design over the years, and it, I, I have to agree with people, it was a fun one to stitch. So fun, because you're stitching yeah. a whole bunch of different Christmas trees, yeah. um, it, and this is called? Jingle Bells Tree Farm. Yep, Jingle Bells, so don't forget to search in the search box, look for Jingle Bells. 
this is actually full of trees and because yeah. we are living in the Pacific Northwest there's a lot of trees around there, here there's a lot of trees but you use specialty stitches for exactly most of the trees that's right I use either specialty stitches or like with this cedar tree here this is actually meant to be a cedar tree I use a lot of little back stitches mm -hmm. or straight stitches mm -hmm. whatever and then look at the trees in the middle this is actually a tr Christmas tree farm and there is a Jingle Bells Christmas tree farm not not very far from uh -huh. here, which is where I live. And uh, that's what it was called. And I thought, oh, what a great name for our uh, sampler. It says, oh, Christmas trees. And then at the bottom, there's someone going to get their Christmas tree at the barn. Yeah. With all the little cute little things and a little snowman, my usual little snowman. This was so popular. Yes. And I'm pretty sure it will continue to be that Definitely. way into the future. Because yeah. if you haven't done a Christmas tree farm before, mm -hmm. it's so fun because every tree is slightly different. Yeah. It's just yeah. great. Okay, and then we have three similar samplers. Yeah, These similar. are very similar. Yeah. They're also a little hard to show because they are long. Yeah. Okay, so bear with me. It is going to happen that you'll see them all. But I'm, I'm not going to take it too slowly because many of you have already seen these before. So this is the actual Christmas uh, sampler, which is about the nativity. Exactly. Just hang on a second. Yeah. I gotta pull that off. Thank you. What is that? I think it was dust. No, we can't have dust <laughs> on our samplers. Okay, so this is the heirloom nativity sampler. Those of you who have done this one, many, many, many people did too. Oh yeah, I love stitching this one. <laughs> Oh, but then again, I love stitching all your designs, oh, so, you know. thank you. You're so <laughs> cute. Such a nice thing to hear. And uh, there's the shepherds in the fields. And there is a rhyme or reason to these patterns. They're very similar in that they have lace pieces and specialty pieces and uh, vines. And uh, there is the three kings with a camel in the background and a cardinal right on the top of the tree. <laughs> and... Uh, and there's the nativity scene itself. And at the bottom of this one is this gorgeous bit of Hardanger, which is simple, but really effective looking with the Greek crosses, the dove's eyes, and uh, partial Greek crosses. I don't think, oh, and then there's the, uh, just the regular um, divided wrap bars. Um, what I was gonna say, it says, sweet angels sing on Christmas night, come shepherds, see the wondrous sight, come wise men, see the star above, a babe is born to bring us love. Did I make that up? I think so. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Considering. Yeah. I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure you did. I don't think it's a carol. Movie. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I have to yeah. laugh because I can't remember. Well, we should, you know, we shouldn't claim something. I th but I'm pretty sure you wrote that. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> oh, that's funny. The, on this one, no, you didn't write that. No, I don't think this this next one, no. Uh, Lynn says, I've stitched Jingle Bell Farm. I love it. It will come out soon for Christmas. Yeah. Yay. Mm -hmm. And Judy Holmes, I can't believe it. I'm stitching the Nativity Sampler as I want oh, you. awesome. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah. Good to hear. Patty England, hello. I call you Patty England, but actually you're Patty Dag. But yeah. anyway, it's nice <laughs> to see you. Very nice that you're here. So this one, no, I did not make this up, did I? Fresh snow blankets the hillside. Snowballs fly through the. Yes, I did. I think you made this one up. I thought you were pulling out the other one. No, I think I actually yeah. did this too. Yeah, I think you did. And this sampler is called Winter, Winter Holiday. Winter Holiday. And the reason I made it is because not everyone celebrates Christmas. Yeah, there some are people go to this of people who ski don't. hill. Yes, <laughs> or some people just enjoy the snow. Yeah, and enjoy their winter holiday. So this was in, for people who didn't want to make yet another Christmas sampler, but wanted it to look like that time of the yeah. year in uh, the north um, in the northern hemisphere. Uh, blankets the hillside, snowballs fly through the air, and then this is uh, sleigh bells are merrily ringing, uh, holiday fun everywhere. So this is a little verse that kind of describes things, and there's no heart anger in this one, and there's a reason for that. Um, some people find it difficult to do, and these are the very similar people um, that I um, assumed would also enjoy just stitching a winter sampler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these uh, little skaters are patterned after my aunt and uncle um, who met while skating in on the canals in Holland, uh, which I thought was such a nice story. 
and uh, so I, I created that little scene and uh, and and the little ski hill at the top even has like a little what do you call that a lift and there's a little a chair lift a little chair yeah. going up right there yeah. with with a person with skis yeah. on <laughs> I love miniature yeah. stuff um, good morning love the winter sample thank you Margaret it is really, really pleasant yeah. to do, especially during the winter, especially for people who don't get a lot of snow, oddly yes, enough. absolutely. I haven't done that one yet, but it is on my one-day to-do list. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't make this verse up. No, you I, did not make this one up. No, this is an actual carol, and the reason I did that is because, guess what? It's called the... Carol Singers. Carol Singers <laughs> Sampler. Here we come a caroling among the leaves so green. I think you know this. Here yeah. we come a caroling among the leaves so green. Here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you. And there you go. The whole carol is written down. And this is the scene that you see. I should maybe cover my face because that's enough of me. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see them caroling here. They're all singing away. And there's lots and lots and lots of snow everywhere, which I love to love and joy come to you and to you, your wassail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. Look at this amazing amount of uh, Hardanger. And it's even got a kind of a shadow form underneath here to make it really stand out and look three dimensional. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Saying hell to it with me. <laughs> so that, I think, was our model parade. Mm -hmm. That was very yeah. Christmassy. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know I've got all the Christmas trees lit up upstairs? Oh, do you really already? Yes. Do you know why? Because you won't be here for Christmas. That's so it. <laughs> you're, you're getting started now. I'm yeah. having an early Christmas, and also Petra, my daughter, is here. And she says, well, I'm coming because I know you're leaving to go to Mexico for the month of December. And I thought, I'm going to miss you for Christmas. So... You know, I'm just going to have a kind of a feeling of Christmas before you leave. Mm -hmm. And I'll mm -hmm. leave in a couple of weeks. And so she thought Remembrance Day would be a good time. Mm -hmm. So I put up all the Christmas trees and lit them oh, up. Oh, <laughs> nice. See, yesterday when they came in, um, my, my daughter and her boyfriend came in at 11 o'clock or so, 11.15 uh, yesterday evening. Um, all the lights were all sparkling and everything. Uh, I heard this morning that it was a big hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks Dorothy thank you so much actually I did do quite a bit of singing in my life but not quite that low yeah. usually I was very high <laughs> high soprano so trust and contentment radiate from a good friendship it's uh -huh. a pretty nice phrase uh -huh. it is we have two pieces of uh, Kathy's here now these are models that were uh, actually created or stitched uh -huh. to um, uh, give to stores as uh, they're trunk show, trunk show models. Yes, they're trunk show models, exactly. But we would like to get um, them to people who would really like them. Uh -huh. And perhaps these could be uh, gifts to yourself or to someone that you love. Yeah. Um, we're going to make them both as um, options, if that's okay yeah. with you, yeah. Lisa. Yeah, absolutely. I made the pillow. That's right, you made yeah, the pillow. I made the it, pillow. And it's one of those kinds yeah. of pillows. So. I always like to do it as a slip cover, actually. Yes, because yeah. it's nice, and then you can take mm -hmm. it off if you need to. Mm -hmm. And there's a form underneath. So the entire piece is made by Lisa, and as you yeah. can see, the, um, the, the pieces that she's used, the colors that she's used, is just perfect, perfect for this uh, design. This color here matches some of the rockery. This green is just because it's Christmas and and or thanksgiving and then this red of course echoes in the rug and you can see the gold in the flames and in the little doggy so this is one that's going to be auctioned off and it is also a pattern called trust and contentment trust and contentment yes i think so yeah and then this one is more christmasy and i think you're going to absolutely mm -hmm. love this yeah. one uh, this will be very appropriate uh, at christmas time Definitely. and this will also be auctioned off along with a beautiful frame that yeah. actually was um, was framed. This whole piece was framed in a framing shop. Yeah. So it yeah. is not. Uh, it's very nicely done on the back as well. So this piece, I think, you're going to absolutely love. So those two will be auctioned yeah. this week. Awesome. This weekend, I should yeah. say. <coughs> I may not be able to do them right away, um, but I will do them by before the end of the day today, so that you can have a chance to bid on those two. Well, I'm all caught up in sending out all the auction pieces Thank and all that goodness. kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm now. 
ready for the next batch. It's very important that we catch up with our sending out, but what happens is people sometimes delay, they forget yep. to send us their information, and we have to send you an invoice to pay for the piece that you bid on if you it, want it. Exactly, and of course I was delayed because I was finishing up the last batch of grab bags to send out. So all together, all together. we're all done now. We're all done. So these yep. two are the only ones that have not been shipped off That's yet. right. Oh, good. Definitely. <laughs> so yes. good. anyone who's yep. ever bought anything through our auction gets them eventually, but this time was yep. a bit of a delay. It, so. There was a bit of a delay. Yes. Um, Margaret says, love the hard hanger, but I'm just not having much luck. I have tried a few times now, but it's just not working. Oh my goodness, Margaret. It, so you're finding it difficult to do hard hanger. Have you by any chance taken a course? Because mm -hmm. if you have not, it might be a really nice idea to go to our um, website and look under courses exactly. in the catalog. And yeah. I do have two really good Hardanger courses. One of them is just you make a pillow yeah. with various different beginner Hardanger it, pieces. Exactly. Introduction to Hardanger. That's what it's called. Yeah. And then the other one is a series of 10 ornament yeah. looking things, which basically give you all the introduction as well with a few more stitches. Uh, even. Absolutely. And that was the Beyond Cross Stitch level five. Level five is yeah. the beginners. And right? so take either of those ones first and then take level six, which is the more advanced hardening or mm -hmm. stitches. And what's really great about these courses is that uh, I teach you not just how to do the uh, the actual stitches and mm -hmm. which way to do them, but how to cut, how to fix what you've got wrong. You know, there's a whole bunch of yeah. information there, all given to you in step-by-step -step form. Absolutely. People have gone through their, have, really, they've got their hard anger yeah. down. And yeah. yes, you can do other more more difficult hard anger after that. That's the key. Exactly, but it gives you the basics, mm -hmm. um, especially for cutting the fabric threads, which is really terrifying. So. A lot of terrifying yeah. going on. <laughs> but Margaret, I know you probably know how to do things, but you may be not giving yourself a chance to take it easy and take mm -hmm. a deep breath. Yes, that's the other thing is to breathe and not to put pressure on yourself. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nope. And also, you do have to take it slow. Yeah, I, I don't know about absolutely. you, but unless Definitely. you've been doing it for a while, each yeah. step in hard anger can be its own thing. Do that, yeah. and, and just 10 minutes of that, and then go away and leave it and come exactly. back. Exactly, and I find to do hard anger, I need to do it first thing in the morning. Yes, yeah. it's a good way to see yeah. in the good light yeah. by the window, and uh, also make sure that you have magnification if you need it. Definitely. You know, when I've been doing classes, I've been doing classes for a long time, teaching classes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when we're in a classroom that doesn't have enough light, if you, I have noticed that there are a number of people who will say, oh, this is so frustrating. You Absolutely. know why? Because you can't see properly. <laughs> yeah. You don't see each individual yeah. thread. And unless yeah. you can actually see your scissors going in and out, for instance, Absolutely. it's scary and, yeah. it's, and it's horrifying and you do occasionally make mistakes. Yeah. Um, and I've seen this over and over and I say to them, would you like a light? And they'll say, no, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, but light Don't is be one of those. <laughs> key. And, and the other thing with cutting fabric threads is to only cut two th um, threads at a time. Yes, it's it's in all of these hints yeah. are in the classes. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good thing Absolutely. to do too. So Margaret, I hope that we've encouraged you to continue to try. Exactly. Because there is some uh, satisfaction in yeah. being able to do something that's a little bit more difficult. But don't do it on, you know, the long samplers yeah, until absolutely. you've really practiced yeah. so that you feel comfortable. Yeah. Start with the introduction to Hardanger or the Beyond Cross Stitch. And the little um, Beyond Cross Stitch designs are really, really cute. Actually, I do the Beyond Cross Stitch ones. Yeah. The, the Rather reason, than the introduction to Hardanger. Yeah, because Me too. You, get, you get more. Absolutely. And you have uh, 10 lovely little designs yeah. that can be turned into ornaments. Yeah, so definitely. I really like it. Ah, uh, we get a care. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So Marty says, no, yes, Marty says, you are decorated because the elf on the shelf will not come until the Christmas tree is up and decorated. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Liz says, hello, ladies. Hello, Liz. Hi, Liz. Nice to see you. Ah, my lady got her grab bag. Yay. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you like it. Kathleen Hardanger looks much looks much harder than it is. Yeah. And most mistakes can be easily fixed. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you have to get to the point where you feel um, 
you feel a little more confident than you do. And that's not just Margaret. That's mm -hmm. everyone. That's everyone. Yeah. If you haven't done it for yeah. a while, you kind of go, oh, what was that again? Yeah. So yeah. I really wish that you uh, will get started and, and maybe do a little piece on the... Um, uh, sorry. Start, start small. S start small and do the little pieces in mm -hmm. the Beyond Cross Stitch, yeah. uh, level five. You're going to love it. Okay, and by the way, we've just made all of our academy, uh, the VS Academy, yes. as promised. I said I'd continue to think about whether or not we can afford to keep it open. Yeah. And there have been quite a few students who have signed up now, which is great. Yeah. That means I can afford to keep it open yeah. um, until March. Until March. Yeah, Absolutely. March of 2023 is yeah. now. So I've been giving uh, every three months. Every three months, we've upgraded the, mm -hmm. the timing. So a lot of people have actually been able to finish their entire yeah. year. Yeah of um, their course and so you can actually look forward to having all the time between now and March 31st yeah 31st yeah and you're, yeah yeah um, to go through your course so you don't have to hurry too much mm -hmm. and you can really enjoy it in January and February definitely okay that's it I think oh no it's not it stitch along oh. Friday oh. Um, means there's a stitch along yes <laughs> That's right, exactly. Yes, you got to show the next part. Guess what? I don't have the next part oh. uh, printed out. I'm so sorry. This uh, was last week. Okay. <laughs> but there is a next part coming, <laughs> and you'll see it uh, uh, very soon. Very soon. Yes, yep. so there'll be an auction, and this, and this, and, and this is the yep. end of our little exactly. um, stitch along. This is a new pattern coming out today in, in pdf yes so if you didn't get a chance to buy the kits a few months ago you can now get the pdf pattern yep it's going to be available and this is the actual whole piece right there there we go so you can see what it could look like if it was framed exactly um, and, and i think it's yes. you know also good to point out that you can there's a chart with the symbols mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but there's also a chart that's in color so you can pick all the colors yourself. Isn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> I like this pattern and I think that yeah. the fact is that the, having a pattern like this will give you some more um, um, confidence in choosing your own colors mm -hmm. if you want to. Because mm -hmm. that's what we want people yeah. to do is to really get enjoyment out of yeah. picking their own colors. Yeah, definitely. You can't mess with this one though. No. The, the way that things have been set up here, the colors, etc. Like this little house could easily be red, or it Definitely. could be it could be yellow again, yeah. or or green, or whatever. So Absolutely, it won't matter yeah. too much what you choose. What matters is that you get a chance to choose mm -hmm. and yes. get some confidence in that. Yeah. Oh, good, Karen. I'm so I'm glad to inspire you because level five is honestly yeah. I would take it again if I could um, have to if I were to have to take take a hard anger <laughs> course. A hard I would take, take it. it. <laughs> Because it really is detailed and kind of fun to have 10 uh, Christmas ornaments. I mean, what a better time to make Christmas Absolutely. ornaments. Right? Oh, yeah. Perfect time to make Christmas ornaments. Good. Um, and it looks like uh, Margaret says, I will try that. And yeah. I think maybe I should try larger count fabric as well. I do have a magnifier and stitching works well, but the cutting is where I mess it. Yeah. Lots of light. <coughs> light is key. And I don't yeah. know if you've got a magnifier that has light in it mm -hmm. or just the yeah. magnifier. Because if you don't have the light and the magnifier, Absolutely. you still will have shadows where you think there's yeah. a thread, but there isn't there and isn't. that kind of yeah. thing. So if you're anything like me, I really need to have a magnifier with a light in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so the light shines directly down uh, onto your fabric and you can bring it up fairly close to yourself. Absolutely. And you should be able to see it. Uh, really clearly mm -hmm. but the good thing about the course to me is that everything is close up yeah so you'll see yeah. in the course exactly where to cut and then you do that mm -hmm. and then you follow the course and you do the next cut like I don't leave you hanging oh okay just do it like that and then uh, you can move absolutely. on absolutely yeah <laughs> I it almost is, go through the whole pattern step. yeah it really is and Karen's also inspired that's great Marty says uh, with the ending of this VS chat time and having my needle in my hand again, I want to thank you two for helping me get over all my mental health restored again. Awesome. I have to thank say, you, Marty. Marty, that's really, really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. And I know what that means. It's not easy. It's not easy being us. Uh, human beings have so many things to deal with. That we do. Yes. Um, Anita says, my sister gifted me Beyond Cross Stitch 5 series and oh. so helpful to do them. Very nice. Yes, you had the whole yep. kits, I think. 
And Dorothy says, I use an ot light and a magnifier. Yeah. Both are not options. They are necessities. <laughs> yeah. I guess our eyes just, you know, I mean, we make really small decisions. Absolutely. The, 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 the threads are small. Yeah. I would not necessarily go to a bigger count unless you absolutely have to, yeah. Margaret. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. That will end up being meaning that you have to change your threads yeah. to in order to cover. Yeah. So I wouldn't go to, for instance, a, a 25, 25 count no. or, yeah, stick with the 28. But the other key thing, and Lynn brought that up, is a very sharp pair of a scissors. Yes, is, we're not sure what kind of scissors. That's right. It's necessary for doing hard air. Yeah, if you don't have the right pair of scissors, you can be cutting wrong all, mm -hmm. um, yeah. fairly easily. So again, I don't know what kind of pair of scissors you have, but they're usually three and a half inches long, yeah. maybe four. Yeah. And the points are really fine, so yeah. you can get your uh, the bottom blade in and out, so you can see two threads parked on the bottom yeah. uh, blade of your scissors. Absolutely. And if you don't see that before cutting, then don't cut. Yeah. So that's what you need is a pair of scissors that has li li really slim. Here, here's a pair, right here. You see how they have really slim blades. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want ones that have uh, thick or rounded, like those. Some of those. Um, Stork scissors, yeah, they're horrible, yeah, because yeah. they have these uh, round blades, <laughs> yeah. and they you can't get your blade yeah. in at all. So yeah, you need very sharp to the point scissors. Exactly, and uh, let's see if there's any. There is this. Lynn says light and very sharp yeah. scissors with thin blades. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lynn. And Dorothy says I use an ot light, uh, and then Dor Deborah says for me even tension is the hardest part of hard anger. <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. the joke about hard anger is that, of course, people get angry when things are hard. So yeah. try to take it easy yeah. on yourself. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Absolutely. Tension is important. Absolutely. So yeah. when you're stitching your um, satin stitches, which are actually the hard anger yeah. blocks, if you're stitching those too tight, not good, too loose, then you start cutting into them. Yeah. So make sure that they have an even tension and that they are... T they are um, they form a little block rather than a loose uh, <laughs> bunch of bunch of stitches. Exactly, and of course, the other thing that's key with hard anger is not to stitch in hand. I find the same thing. Yeah, you know, you can stitch in hand when you really get used to it, uh, and it's okay. Absolutely. Yeah, but I find I I stitch in hand when I'm doing the needle weaving, but as far as doing cluster blocks, I have to have it stretched. Stretch it on yeah. something, especially my samplers uh, and your little pieces that you're going to do in the Beyond Cross Stitch. Because if you stretch it, then the tension will be caught. Absolutely. And that, I think, is what Deborah is yeah. saying, yeah. too. Yeah, that's right. Tension is important. Not yeah. in hand, then. Do yeah. not stitch in hand. No. Margaret says, yep, I have the light and magnifier. Maybe I need to look at scissors. Yep. I'll go okay. to 28 count. Had been working. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 32, 35. Yeah, that could be the problem right yeah. there. 28 count. Yeah, go to 28 count. That'll definitely improve mm -hmm. uh, your feeling that you can see things. Yeah. And you can still work with uh, 12, 12, number 12 and number 8 pearl cotton. Absolutely. Yes. Great. I'm yeah. glad that we yeah. could help a little bit. <laughs> and I'm really glad also that those of you who have given some uh, ideas of your own because community, community advice is fabulous. Absolutely. Everybody just takes what they need. Definitely. Thank you all for being here. It was wonderful. Um, I will upload the stitch along uh, next part. Exactly. And oh, and then we will cushion. make this live very yeah. soon called Village Pincushion. Yeah. It isn't called Drum Pincushion no. because no. if you put that in there, you may not find it. Well, you can, I have put Drum Pincushion in it. It does pop up. So, oh, thank yeah, goodness. It does. <laughs> and yeah. then, of course, I'll put in these two lovely pieces for the auction. Yeah. And I think that's it for that's today, everything. right? Yep. Yeah. It is. I must get going because I have a picnic to go to outside today. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's going to be cold. I don't think I would do that. Yeah. Like, I would just say, I'm sorry, I can't make it. Well, I was it's hoping it cold. would be pouring with rain and that would be my <laughs> excuse. But my husband's looking forward to me joining. So have a good time. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Have a yeah. wonderful, wonderful weekend. Exactly. And um, remember your Remembrance Day uh, people and your yeah. uh, good thoughts for all of the people who have given their lives to make our lives better. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next Friday. Exactly. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.